Ram, it was nice seeing you, boy. Yeah, boy. Um, a long while. But at least we have a um, nice that you invite me to your camp here. Um, this is in which part again you're calling here? Ram Logan, Tris Brass, Right. right. Mm. How long you live in here? Pulling? Mm. I live in here. Um, 50 years now, boy. Right. And all the time you have a poor man, you work in the estate. All the time. All the time. Yes. But you work also with Wasa and all these things. You contribute yeah. on the other work. Uh, yeah, I work Wasa once upon a time. Once upon a time, but at least you work. Yeah, a couple work. of years now. Yeah. So right now you're a, a bona fide gardener. You're taking care of the estate. Like Coco and Coffee. Coco Coffee. Citrus, banana. Yeah. What about the, um, the wild animals? I know you're a hunter also. We have a lot of that, man. We have uh, a lot of that. Yeah, the tea. Yeah, yeah tattoo. Yeah. Lab. Yeah. They are no wild. Yeah. Oh, don't this area don't have wild. No, no wild. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, you know, wild hog was a thing that these people were discussing. Yeah. Wild hog does really live in certain territory, you know. Yeah. They do live all through the country. Yeah. And when people. They start to claim that in this country, Trinidad and Tobago, they don't have wild hog. It's because they really know it. If you have, don't have wild hog in a place, you have to know where to find it. Yeah, but if you, if you don't hunt it in a place, we do have wild hog. You can't have wild hog. You come like if you go to Tobago and look for it here. Yeah, sir. Yeah. It's not there. Right. So down here now, you are more goody hunter. Goody. Right. right, so how do you, um, how you find the, the, the goatee hunting this year? <laughs> it wasn't so bad, although I didn't hunt regularly. Mm. <coughs> Catch in between. Right. But that old boy, like how we, I mean, I aging just like you, we all day. You use this thing as a recreation. Right. Nothing commercial. Yeah, nothing commercial. Yeah, catch a good team, make a cook. Right. When you sit down home and you're feeling a little broad, instead of you take a pressure tablet, you run a good team. Yeah, it's a big exercise. Big exercise. Like Keep your fit. Problem. And one thing a fellow was telling me about this thing. He problem. He said, when you come to hunt, once you go inside, you have to reach out, you know. There. You have to walk out. Yeah, you must come out. You must come out because you nobody can't come out for you. You're not following the dog. Some, some mountain, some mountain. Yeah, you have to climb up. Yeah. Once the dog gone over, you have to go. So it's a, it's a, it's a real exercise. Yeah. And you know, like sometimes people do this treadmill thing, and you're doing, and you're doing that. Every time you feel you feel sit down, you sit down. But in this hunting business, when you get inside that first, you have to come back out. Otherwise, you go sleep inside it. <laughs> I think I think all that when you're looking at that and you're looking at the old fellas and so on, that fellas like Eugen, like like us, I in particular also like this hunting. I like this hunting as a recreation. And when we see her, when we go outside and you actually get to even walk. Not to run. I ain't talking about running. You walk to the first. You have to leave. Is that, is that treatment? You don't feel Yeah, yeah, you feel real good. Real yeah. good. You feel it's a... Walking yeah. through the forest alone. But that, yeah. that they have it's a treatment. Yes. You feel real good. What about the... Um, the well, as you said, the goatee hunt, you catch a few goatee this year. You do not too much. Right? But like this whole talk or this talk that is going on with people wanting to close the hunting season, what is your impression on that? No man, we should close it at all. <laughs> We yeah. have game. We have game. We have game. We, have game. we could go with our open and close season. In the open season, we will hunt, and in the close season, we will allow the beast to multiply. To multiply. So definitely, we still we must have. We, yeah. we must have. Yeah. We must have. You know, one of the things I hate and I'm, and I'm very disappointed in plenty people, right? Plenty hunters. They hunt. They want to hunt right through the air. Yeah, that is bad, man. 
Give the animal some time. Give the animal some time to multiply. And then sell when we'll come back on. Catch yeah. the same animal. Right. And that's the whole idea. Mm -hmm. That's the whole idea. Like today, look how much people you invite in your camp. You, this alone is what you call cross-country tourism. People coming from all about yeah. and just having a time yeah. under your little camp here. Yeah, look at guy from Shagunas. Yeah, look at from Shagunas. Yeah, we have people from all about. Shagunas, Yes. And what we hear about is to enjoy this little ass on tomorrow. We're going to have it on your private estate. This is not state land. No. And we're going to be trying to run our good team. Yeah, give the dogs some exercise before you back them up now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, the dogs and all will have to take care as you rightly say. Yeah, they'll, they'll die out. Yes. No exercise, they'll die out. Yes, yes. So you try to, you know, yeah. give them a little run. So what do you, what do you want to say to if you, 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 you want to tell the public anything? You want to tell them anything you want to tell them? You, I say, stop the illegal hunting. Right? Stop the illegal hunting. Everybody will benefit. Yes. Are you understand? Oya, oya, gun. Coco Wally one. Oya, Coco Wally two. You don't get Coco, you get Wally. You only eat it now. Look how many people are going to eat it. Hold on. What am I going to do here, boy? Put him on, sir. Sit down on him. Who? Pyra. Who is that Pyra? What is it? What is it? What is it? 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 <laughs> I tell you, you have that? Yeah, you have two, how about three? How about three? Three trees. With the road and you can take. You can't tell me that. Right behind the camp. A little one, you want me to road, a little four out of it. What? Hmm? He, you want to tell me what I You want me to take more food or? <laughs> Wait till we get it pull out yourself, boy. No rush, no rush. And if it's fine. You have family, right? You have home, are you? Yeah. I bought him. Oh, God. Oh, God. I know you are a man born man. Yes. How long you have been there now? I don't know. Any other time? About 40 years. Yeah. 40 years are a good better time. You know? And what do you think about the deer population? Do you find it going down or do you find it still? Some places they increase. What about the, the, well, the question is, this is a very good statement that you make. The areas where they decrease, right, where they, where they, where they decrease is where population going and build houses and things, and habitat is being destroyed. So once the habitat is destroyed, the animal can live. No place to put. But in some other areas, like the Kearney, where they abandon the lands and so on. We see a, a spring up. Yeah, I, mean, right. I like I like that. Um, and that is a very good observation. Because one of the things, you know, people always tell us that um, we don't put too much emphasis on observing and so on. As hunters, this is this is our this is our sport. This is what we if we don't observe, who going to observe? We have to observe and we have to be able to make changes, make adjust to suit. Yeah. Now you tell me, tell me. I know you is an effective deer hunter from from talking to you before. How much is a, a, a hunting pack for deer? Is about how much? 
Trap gun is one of the most selfish hunt you could ever make. Yeah. 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 You only think about yourself. You only think about yourself. Where you could get as much animal you get in. You know, you are really thinking about a next man could walk on that trap gun. Or a dog. Yeah. You are really let that be a consideration. But you know when you're gonna feel that is when you walk on a trap gun. When you walk on a trap gun and you see that trap gun, yeah, yeah, he's a dangerous one. Yeah, yeah, he's a dangerous one. He could kill the man because that man see him. Yeah, that man see him. So he could kill the man. Yeah, he had to cover his tracks. He had to cover his tracks. So really, a man who set that trap gun really the killer in a way. Well, somehow the other in the hunting fraternity, we had to pass the message. We had to let people understand. Trap gun is not just a catching animal. Trap gun is doing so much damage. And not only for the hunting, he was trap gun. And it is not a nice thing. Well, boy, it was nice talking to you. It was nice talking to you. You know, and there are plenty of people talking about the water close season. I know you as a old man, just as me. I will feel very disappointed if they go and go to the We just pray for the season to come in. The season is just like medicine, but that is medicine. And you have so much outdoor activity. Look at where we live, we have somewhere we did. We go over here and we enjoy this thing. We are in the bar. We are in the bar. We are starting to don't go and hold up nobody. But we cool. Right? So it was nice talking to you, boy. Thank you very much. Yes, right. Maloni going up. Maloni, um, Twin City, up on that side. Oh, they have some rap. Where the mountain come down? Both sides of the river. Tell me one man, he could dog the bike. Where's the last thing for the hunting season? Where's the name again? Villa Fana. And we quite down in um, which part we come from? Rambo Trace, Brasso Gun Trace. Rambo Gun Trace. Brasso Gun Trace. We having so we having a good time. At least today, tomorrow is the last day for the season. That's right. And we're moving. What you want to say about the season, boy? What do you feel? Well, for me, I say the season was a good season. Right. Although I didn't do that much hunting. Right. Right, what? I caught a few bees. Right. Couple there. Lap. <laughs> but I mean, that at least I just hunt whatever, for whatever permit I buy. Right. I don't ever hunt for the permit that I don't have. Okay, so down in this area here, where's the kind of animals that we have here mostly? Well, the oldest animal I think we might not have around this area here. Is it wild hog, you know? Wild hog don't frequent it? No. You yes. never used to frequent it? I don't very much. Okay. From growing up, I never hear no old person say, well, they ever caught any hog, I think, on this area. Right. But for sure, we know it have wild hog up in this, in this forest area, right? Have. But where we is presently. Okay. On this estate here. In this in this estate, it have yeah. one, but it have a wrong in the south. Yes, it have a wrong in the south. Okay. okay. So. You is technically a booty hunter or a deer hunter? What kind of hunter you are? I'm mostly hunter. You're mostly hunter? I'm mostly hunter, yes. Right. But deer, you had to have a certain type of dog for that day? Yeah. Or you do sentry and what kind of Well, I do sentry, plus we do um the dog, the dog also. Okay. Yeah. We, have right. a group, we have a group of men with, with deer dog. With deer dog. With deer dog. Uh, now, when you call deer dog, you technically you're talking about specially trained dog. That's right. Specially yeah. dog, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A deer dog had to get to a 24 hours straight on the run. Well, sometimes you run, sometimes you go say they run for more than 24 hours and because you're like that dog anymore and, and they're gone. And you don't get them, sometimes you lose them. Next two days you get them. You know? uh, them dog, them dog is class dogs. Them dog at least they have stamina. It's true deer dogs. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. But a, a deer hunter, technically, how much he is, he, how much he, yeah, how much deer he will, um, he, he probably catch in a se season. Well, a deer hunter, um, most of the time, you hunt, you make a deer hunt, and he doesn't catch any, you know, because you might raise a deer here, and 
So by the time you raise that day, that day gone. Oh, you, oh, you know. Right, right. <laughs> no, we have to go anyway. You know, you miss that day. So technically, you are there hunter, but you are really boom to catch every day. No, 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 not at all, not at all. And then are there hunter hunting during the week, <laughs> or weekends, or how they how they go? What, what, how they well, this is according to the group, and how the group work well, you know, when we organize the hunt, where everybody could be around on mm -hmm. that particular day. Okay. You know, but mostly on a Sunday or a Saturday. I didn't do it in the week because you know most of the people guys are walking. Fox song mostly come more like a like a foreign dog, you know. The, the more common dog. Well, daddy dog using for the dear boy. Yeah, but that is a that is a good point you're making, eh? The more common dog we have is the Gucci dog, yes. tattoo dog, the lap dog. Out of Kabul, yes, right? yeah. the beagle. The beagle. Mm -hmm. And the yeah. beagle hung seem to be a determined dog. A determined dog. And it's going to be going at the day. More exactly. good for Gucci too. Right, and he, and he also hunt goody. Yeah. But you is a, a see, hunter in this area here, you're specializing in their hunt, or you go with a goody in between? No, well, I see sometimes the, 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 the in between now, you know, you, have, you might find the dog and a road in that day, a, a goody might fly out somewhere around the area, really. and you shoot it. You shoot it. Right, right. and that goody, that goody might end up, might end up making a cook on that particular day. You shoot it and you have no permit for goody. Because, <laughs> because you might not you, you, you you catch no deer. Yeah, okay. No, 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 Shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You might not, you might not catch a day. You might not catch a day. So you use the good you make a cook. Right, right. Yeah. Technically, you see the hunting in terms of your own um, thing. You see it as a as a sport or as a um, you must do thing. No, for me, I hunting is a sport. Hunting is a sport. And I don't like people who just take advantage of the animals. You know, go in every day, and then you have some men might be doing illegal thing. And they come like a trade, catching right. the animal and, and selling. Right. So all you know, I as a hunter, I don't, like, I don't like this. I don't like to see this thing. Okay. Because these are the people who will be taking the more advantage of the animal. Right. The people who do the illegal thing and selling and whatever. Do that as a trade. Right. You know? But this area, this area is, um, as what, what we call it again, um, La Sata. Hmm? This is Brasso Bernardo. Brasso Bernardo. And Brasso Bernardo here seems to be a very rural community. Very rural. I will, want, I'll say, I will say one thing too, and this area, this area here, Brasso Bernardo, is a place we have a lot of deer. A lot of deer. That is one of the animals, a team. It has more of all the different animals. Plenty yeah. deer. Yeah, and have a different kind of deer to it. <laughs> okay. So what do you think about this thing with these fellas talking about they want a close season and they want to um they they, they want to ban hunting and all these things. What is your general idea? You feel I'm making sense? No, I don't think the banning of the season makes sense for people who, who are sports minded people. <clears throat> I don't think so. Uh, and the people who will be doing illegal thing I find more should be done in order to, to get caught with these people, get up with these people. Yes. More should be done. Yeah, well, you're supposed to enforce the law. Yeah, yeah. Right? And, but I tell you, you don't feel like this uh, in Trinidad. People seem to worry with haunting laws that are going to exist. It's a little petty thing. Yeah. They don't put no emphasis on this thing. It have people, it have people who I see and come across. It have some people who I know haunt during the season and don't even buy a haunted permit. And they don't even buy a hunting permit. They don't buy a hunting permit. Yeah. And I just want to tell us. Yeah. And people these see. are the people who will be doing all the legal things and getting the, getting the most of the thing and selling. And sometimes they hunt right through the season. Yeah. And right through the year, as a matter of fact. Yes. You know? And people just just stay there and they don't do, you don't, as I say, the enforcement of this law. Yeah. You don't find too much of this thing, the, the, the enforcement going on at all? No, no, no. no. Sometimes we only hear like if the police have a little raid or they hold somebody traveling with the, with um, with, with um, wild meat in the car, then they call it game warden. That's the amount of claims that we have. Well, most of the time, most of the time, they, they catch up with these guys and they have most of the time when they have a roadblock. Yeah, when they have a roadblock. Yeah. You see, they, they, when they hunt this is about to, yes. they have a sort of thing taking place because of the law, because of the law, because of the law. Yes. And after the season, being open after a few other times, everything just died down. Yeah. Nobody are worried. Nobody are worried about again. Everything and they wait until the season close again, they put down and set down the thing again. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel, I feel the, the, the government itself 
more emphasis on this thing. The people doing the legal thing. And how the people are doing the, doing the work. <laughs> okay, hunting really is a matter of sharing. Eh? Sharing. Yeah. Like yeah. Right? Yeah. And we're just talking about no, the people no, being no, sports. And no, 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 any sport man is supposed to be an animal. Do the things a sportsman already like. Okay. And what I do is, what I do is, through the hunting season, most of the time I, I have to live my meat. And on Carnival Monday, because I really don't like Carnival, I really don't go anywhere for Carnival. I keep up a nice life at my residence. Yes, 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 you keep on hunting. So during my time I hunt with different groups, I hunt with a different group. Blood. Right. But well, that is important, man. That is important. So you, you, you see all type of hunting. Yeah, all type of hunting. All type of hunting. All type of hunting. Yeah. Generally, what we really concern as what as hunters, we, we pay respect to the animals. That's it. But you're supposed to do because yeah. those things are in the law, you know. Yeah. In the law, because they say that even though in the law now they talk about even the lights, the lights hunting, the light, the light, the lights is affected the animal eyes. Yeah, from 7 to 8 to, to 5 in the morning, you're not supposed to be like hunting. Yeah. You're not supposed to be hunting. But you still have the, the, the crazy men or the fellas who doesn't care. And you know one of the worst situations that we we try to everybody try to put them and say they is hunters. I mean technically they are hunters because they pursue an animal. But hunters don't behave like that. Them technically is a thief, right? And they actually do care whether the animal survive or the animal do survive. All them do is that them have an opportunity to come outside it and them hunt. And, and what I think I always believe, okay, believe in too, eh? I believe when a man has sufficient ability, he should be sufficient. Yeah. He's supposed to give the animal a chance now to. Oh, yeah. So you go, you hunt, and you should not be a three days, okay. much four days, yeah. and you go the rest of it. That is enough now, that's enough for me. You know, yeah. I stop yeah. hunting for the rest of the season. Yeah. And is that, is that what has really happened to me? Because I, for the season, if I make, we have five months. And let's say I make one full month of hunting. I hunt plenty for the five, five months. Five, for five months. Yeah. 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 And that is what you really, I mean, how much you go hunt? Look, me, I, I had the same thing. I only hunt weekends. I only hunt weekends, and when you really check it out. If you only hunt weekends, that is five, twenty, that is twenty hunts for the year. For the year, that's enough, man, that's enough. That is enough. And we still, if you check inside that, you throw in a, let me say somebody have a wedding, you can't go. Somebody die, you can't go. Look how, how much how it, it, it impacting on hunting. Right? But you know the, the fanatics closing in on us and trying to say that we're doing so much damage. Right? But I'll tell you something, hunting really, in my view, is actually putting a lot of um, Making people more healthy. Yeah, but yeah, well, the exercise and they keep going, they're going to exercise and whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Any good frogs. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not good for anyone. Yeah. 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 I was wondering, I could say I would hunt them. Hunt them, yes. You do a lot of exercise. Right. Okay, boy. Well, it was nice talking to you. Same thing, right? Yeah, only best yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's spread it to the camp. He what? He closed. He hunted. Spread it and leave it right to the camp. And then dogs will know it. Mm -hmm. They're coming back right there with the scent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's my day. It's all in new clothes. <laughs> what again? Okay. Tell me if I'll be a tattoo way. We can see it on my own. Oh, they're not going to believe that. Tell them where you're going. In um, Orlando? Yeah. I know one another, I'm not a sad. Right? You only did like like half past one, half past two, one day. And six, seven tattoos we rooting on the side of the house. You know, it's all the floors. The thing is a little straw and man, you know, Every day we see it, like me and Mrs. Tassi down there. And what we see? I said, look how we did it. I tell Mrs. Tassi. Six months we just get two tattoos maybe in three. And the whole tattoo was <laughs> white. So they already say, they already say, boy, they have a garden, they have them, them the big tongue, they have them washing, washing. Yeah. Like, laundry room now. Mm -hmm. Every car coming and washing and going, car coming. They spare with them, boy. 
So the statue them coming up. They say, ask the guard to catch one, say, you want a pet? Mm -hmm. So I said, I see I go outside. I see the guard. Mm -hmm. I say, here, I want to catch one of the statue here, you know. Mm -hmm. He said, you don't fix up now, I know it. I have a plastic bucket. And I stand up here, so. <laughs> I stand up here, so. I only five and then pass and the last one, like six. I take the bucket and I cover him. That's <laughs> right. I was around so many things. <laughs> <laughs> I tell my wife, I said, bring the chokey. <laughs> I know what I go do now. I will put the chokey yeah. over the bucket and things. So I raise the bucket. I know why it's a hunter. Mm -hmm. I raise the bucket and I put it on a holy tail quite to my bottom. Me. And I raise the bucket and hold him on good. And I shove it inside the bucket and she bring the chokey and cover it. Yeah, there he go, gosh, gosh, put it in the bathroom. Put it in the bathroom. You're frightened now, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch him. Here, Miss, here, 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 my sister. Same time she comes on me. She called my brother, he's a goldsmith. Call him quick. We have to go home with that now. We have to go home with that and go in the back porch. They are low nights, I stand with him, he'll be like a home. You see, you had to wash out all that blood in the back porch, you know, the garage is going to pour in fire to the stone. Put fire and hot water, clean and white as snow. I cook it now, nobody wants to eat that to go half. Nobody wants to eat. He had to call his son from a different state. When you go to the state? Yeah. He said, come. He said, come. He come to eat that. No, I don't know. He said, come. 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 Ça va Let's go, go, Ali. Ram, come and sit down, boy. Yeah, boy. Come on, eat. 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 Fish fry, fish curry, fish fry. Why are you doing that? My name for us breaking the house, the ramps up and things. You see the mess inside. Like they are bad and things. I buy my permit late. Right. Get carried away with other business, but you know we love the bush. Right. Love the bush. So I had to link back up with the Titan Hatter Association. Right. right. Exactly what we love to do. Yeah, well, today we have, we, we, we come by with Ram. And we have in um we bring okay, fellas from all about here. Ram, you know, Ram, you meet Ram, 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 so what you um, generally think about hunting, right? hunting. You, know, you know, we have different views on hunting right now. Right. We have people like it, people don't like it. With your real views. I am pro hunting. I am pro wildlife, both for right. conservation and they pull out your element of human. Right. You can either reject yeah. the yeah. attention. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. I am yeah. a statistician. Yeah. Right. 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 But people who control the limits, yeah. these are the people that are supposed to educate us. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. How to harvest. How to harvest. How to harvest and when to harvest. I have noted. 
that they stop that. You go on a hunting lizard, as a matter of fact, is in the name of the pool. December 31, 2019. So apparently they start to impose limits. As a, as a, according to the population group, they would make their markers. Yes. So what I think about hunting, I am pro hunting, but I'm pro conservation as well. Yeah. So they are the balance. Yeah. The other yeah. from there, you are the balance. Yes. Yeah. 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 I have to tell you that. Yeah. We put them yeah. 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 in the balance. We yeah. yeah. the yeah. yeah. ones who need monitoring. Yeah. yeah, because some or the other, they are getting it right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, apparently. Yeah. They are getting it right. Yeah. Yeah. Because really without hunting. I mean, if you look at the, the, the thing, man has been hunted from day one. He was first hunters. Yeah. And not because he learned how to garden, to gather, and hunting, and, and start to gather thing, and he's more sure on this side. You're saying hunting is wrong. Hunting of the wild and keeping it in the wild. My partner hunting could never be wrong because we have to pull the belly. We have to pull the belly. We have to move on. Is the balance. Balance, balance is what we need to know. Right. And the people we put in charge, like I said before, mm -hmm. are the ones that guide us. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. When you that, come a long way, do you have to do something and you actually come here to enjoy this? Of course. This thing. Nature, yeah. friends. Right. Mr. Ram, thanks for the opportunity. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Right. yeah. Well, you, so you're having a good time with the boys? No. Oh. I'm not. I don't ever repeat that. You <laughs> <laughs> can record that. <laughs> 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 Thanks for the opportunity. Yeah. Oh. Please call. Yeah. <laughs>